Colorado High School Activities Association Baseball is on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network on a windy Wednesday. It's the visiting Fort Morgan Mustangs along with the Severn Silver Knights from Severance. I'm John Beltran with John Prouty, and this game's going to start just a little bit early as the Mustangs will send up today's left fielder Jaden Carrera against Ryan Anuiak, a right-hander for Severance. And the pitch swung on, hit foul off the end of the bat, first base side. John, I thought the forecast called for like seven miles an hour with the winds. Apparently well, we were wrong. And I was all ready for it. I wore shorts out here, and then we get here, and the cold front comes in. So I must be a magnet for that or something. And the offering, swing and a miss on a pitch on the inner half. Keep in mind, Severance lost a lot from a year ago when they won the state championship. So they're eight and four overall. The Mustangs have lost five in a row and are five and seven. The pitch, breaking ball foul, third base side to Jaden Carrera. Today's first pitch brought to you by Buildings by Design. First impressions are important. Buildings by Design will make your vision a reality. Visit buildingsbydesign.com. We'll set the rest of the B-Digger lineup, the Mustang lineup, excuse me, brought to you by B&B Appliance. The pitch swung on, popped up right side of the infield. The first baseman comes in and making the two-handed grab for the out is Colton Beetleman, and there's one down. And that will send up the number two hitter, Charlie Langford. Quite frank, frankly, John, I like Charlie better in the three-hole only because... You could drive in another run if you get guys on base, but well, when you got a guy that's hitting 550 on his average right now, or pretty close to it, and that's kind of your three-hole hitter. Yeah, well, they almost they should almost put him at yeah. Cleanup. Here's the wine and the offering. Swung on and grounded left side of the shortstop. Long throw to first and in time oh, yep. to get the speedy Langford is Braden Kiersick. Two down again. They graduated a ton but they're still a solid baseball team. Batting third for the Mustangs is left fielder, check at center fielder, Angel Lopez. The catcher, Jason Diaz, is the cleanup hitter. Third baseman, Miguel Davila hits fifth. Isaiah Ortiz, the second baseman, at sixth. The DH, Chase Prouty, bats seventh. Braden Hilzer in right, hits eighth. And J.J. Marquez, the pitcher, hits ninth, and that pitch is a ball to Angel Lopez. Now, the one thing with the Mustangs, they had 249 as a team last year, 306 this year. The offense is not the issue. Yeah, the, it's it's getting control of those errors. Well, I mean, <laughs> John, they're on pace. Us. They're on pace to have the worst defensive team under Josh Langford. They had 67 errors in 23 games last year. They're on pace for 69 this year. They got to clean it up, as you mentioned. Yeah. Swung on, grounded left side, and that's going to be cut off by the third baseman sidearm throw in time by Declan Moylet, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for Awuniak. And talk about defense, they just made three solid defensive plays. Well, two certainly, the other one was a fly ball in the infield. Right. right, we'll head to the bottom of the first inning. The Mustangs go down in order, and Severance is coming to bat against J.J. Marquez on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Three up, three down for Ryan Awuniak at the top of the first. I'm John Beltran with John Prouty. Let's head to the bottom of the first. Let's see, game time temperature, 69 degrees. But again, the wind, which is a little bit inconsistent. It slows down, it kicks up. And we'll see if it plays a factor in this game. Batting first is Brayden Kiersig for Severance, the second hitter is the catcher, Augustine Dominguez. Batting third is Declan Moylet, the third baseman. The cleanup hitter is the second baseman, Hayden Crank. Batting fifth is Colton Beetleman, the first baseman. The right fielder, Brennan Taylor, hits sixth. Ryan Inouye, the pitcher, bats seventh. Left fielder, Dom Torres, hits eighth. And Tyson Smith, the center fielder, hits ninth. For the Mustangs defensively, Michael Strange at first, Isaiah Ortiz at second. The third baseman is Miguel Davila. Charlie Langford at short. In the outfield, Jaden Carreras in left, Angel Lopez in center, Brayden Hills are in right. Jason Diaz behind the plate. And again, J.J. Marquez getting the start for the Mustangs. J.J. 0-1 with a 5-6 ADRA. Actually, not too bad, considering that uh, 
He's only a sophomore up yeah. and down this year, but actually his his most impressive outing was that uh, when he came into the game in relief of Isaiah Ortiz against Mountain View, and he pitched very well, and the Mustangs were in position to win that game, but lost 10-8. to eight. Here's the right-handed hitter for Severance. Kiersick, the pitch. That fastball is above the letters. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, and he had a very good outing the last time he was up there, so hopefully he can repeat. Marquez to the plate. Swung on and popped foul and had a play off to the right. Owonia hitting 303. They're hitting 323 as a team, so their offense statistically is slightly better, but not much than Fort Morgan's. The wind in the 1-1. One, one. That's upstairs and inside. Ball two, strike one to Brayden Kiersick. Yeah, and the difference in the game is the defense. Their defense is... Yeah, well, so really far. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. The pitch. That's a breaking ball of beauty. Mm -hmm. Down the middle for a strike just above knee level. Yeah, and, he knew it. He shook his head, too. He said, I should have gone for that. <laughs> Didn't read it. And this is a gorgeous field, by the way. Now, the mm -hmm. seating is not great. Swung on and chopped left side. Third baseman Davila's got it. He fires to first for the out. Nearly pulled Strange off the bag, but his foot was on the bag. There's one down. Still got to make those throws a little bit more accurate, John. But, hey, we'll take the out to begin the bottom yes. of the first inning. Yes, but that was, that's was that been a consistent problem on that throw from third. Um, pulling uh, Strange off the bag. It's uh, like, so got to get those online. Can't have those throwing errors going on. Here's Agustin Dominguez. Severance four and three in Long's Peak play. They defeated Fort Morgan two days ago, 14 to three. Fastball a strike. Nothing we can really do about this swirling Man. wind. <laughs> I'm trying to use my hand to block it, but oh, I can't find yeah, it. I, I'm doing the same thing and it's tough. The offering, and that's a change oh, up for a strike on the outside corner. And the count goes to 0-2. It's that popping noise. I mean, it is so, wow. All right. Yeah. I'm going to try to prevent that popping noise, but it is really blowing into the mic. The pitch. Fastball is high. One ball and two strikes. Yeah, I don't think there's any protecting it. This is one of those. Well. <laughs> it's going to be what it's going to be. So even with, we have these uh, swung on and grounded slowly to short. Charging is Charlie. Langford sidearms to first. Two down. Well, we've had five balls put in play. The defense has made all five plays. And here is Declan Moylet. Left-handed hitter for Severance. Well, the players know they've got to keep these balls down um, just because of this win, but they got to figure out a way to get it out of the infield. This kid's good, John. A freshman hitting 485. Yeah. First of I, all, if you're starting as a freshman, you got to be really good. And he is. We watched him play in Fort Morgan, he can hit the ball. He's a hitter. There's a strike on the outside corner. 0-1. Yeah, we are covering up these mics as best as possible, but there's just <laughs> no way to protect from this win. Swung on and grounded a second. The first baseman uh -oh. strange goes uh -oh. over. Now the second baseman throws the first for the out. Nice cover there yep. by J.J. Marquez as Ortiz made the play. Michael Strange cannot go that far to his right. That was a no. mistake. And he got away with it. You cannot yeah. go that far to your right. You got to know your second baseman's there, but nonetheless, exactly. The Mustangs get away with it. Well, this yeah. is game 13 at this point. Well, and you got to trust your second baseman's going to get there because he had to range way too far out and pull back to the bag so your pitcher doesn't have to. Because the runner almost ran over your pitcher right there. On B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's head to the top of the second inning. No score. Fort Morgan and Severance. We've had five ground balls hit in this game and good defense on both sides. And this will be Jason Diaz to lead off the second for the Mustangs, attempting to snap a five game losing streak as he faces Ryan Inouyek. Diaz for the right side, batting 333. Of course, Charlie Langford, as we mentioned earlier, the leading hitter on this team, 488 going in. He's 0 for 1 in this game. Both pitchers were 
very economical with their pitches in the first inning. Swang and a miss out in front of that one on the outside edge. That is 0-1 to Jason Diaz. The kick and the pitch. Swang and a miss with a fastball right by him, down and away. Diaz reaching out for that one. No balls and two strikes. Yeah, it looks like he might be struggling picking that up out of the hand, too. Well, he might go with a breaking ball here. The 0-2. Swing and a miss on a curveball in the dirt, and they will throw him out at first. That was an awful at bat for Diaz, who normally is a little bit better than that, a lot better than that as Dominguez is able to make the play one down. And, John, that's you have to know as a hitter, you're down in the count 0-2. They're either going high fastball or a breaking ball. Breaking and ball. once it starts out mid-range like that, yeah. it's probably going to break as severely as it did. Right, and you know it's going in the dirt, or chances are, which is exactly what it did happen. He swung right over it. Um, so yeah, that, you got to get you got to get better at picking up that ball out of the hand. Here's Miguel Davila, the pitch swung on and chopped the third. A two hopper, charging, stopping, throwing for the out. A little hesitation there. I think yeah. the ball got stuck in the glove of Declan Moyet, but he makes the play. Two down. Yeah, and that's kind of what it looked like. He was trying to dig it out of his glove. You talk about the Wooniak John recorded five outs on twelve pitches. <laughs> I mean, well, the Mustangs are aggressive up yeah, there. Yeah, they are. I mean, they're they're being aggressive and they're they're hitting the ball. Um, again, it's just the the. I mean, they're hitting it choppers to uh, shortstop and and third, and they're just making the fielding calls. Swung on and foul back. Let's check out the numbers on this right-hander. One and one, a four-two-seven ERA. This is his eighth appearance. No balls and one strike. Well, yeah, they're making contact. It's unfortunate it's not good contact. And right. the breaking ball's up and in. It might have went behind Ortiz with two down in the top of the second. No score. Along with John Prouty, I'm John Beltran. The kick and the pitch down and away. He took something off it. Yeah, ball he was trying to get one. him to chase on that one. Well, because that's what uh, Jason Diaz did. Exactly. So sometimes you try to do that to multiple hitters so you get away with it. 2-1. Fouled at the plate. Two balls and two strikes to Isaiah Ortiz in the top half of the second inning. Laying down the sign is Dominguez. And the offering swung on, popped up. The center fielder comes in, Tyson Smith. He locates it and it makes the catch. It's another one, two, three inning for Wuniak. Six up, six down to the bottom of the second. We go in one minute. In Severance, the Mustangs nothing, the Silver Knights nothing on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. We are still awaiting the game's first base runner. Hopefully it doesn't happen in this bottom of the second. No score. Fort Morgan against Severance in Severance. This is Dom Rice hitting for Severance. The number four hitter. And the pitch. And the breaking ball is upstairs. That was a good spot to miss. He didn't miss that by much. You're right. A very good pitch. It doesn't have to be a strike. It can st and still be a good pitch. Right. And the 1-0. That one bounces to the catcher. Two balls and no strikes. That's the first 2-0 count we've had in this one. Start your associate degree, continue your education, or get a specialized certificate at Morgan Community College. 2-0 the pitch, and that one's up and in. Three balls and no strikes to Dom Rice. Right-handed hitter for Severance. The offering, and that bounces away. And only one pitch of those four was even close, a walk. <laughs> so that'll send up Colton Beetleman. Left-handed hitter, man. This is where Fort Morgan has such a disadvantage with no lefties. Right. In their regular lineup. The pitch. 
upstairs. You got to start throwing strikes, JJ. 306 hitters, Beetleman. One ball and no strikes. He was so good in the first inning. And now has thrown five consecutive balls to begin the bottom of the second. Two step lead at first. The pitch, not even close. Upstairs in a breaking ball. It's 2 0. To Colton Beetleman. Well, and I think part of the difficulty, too, is just not having a lot of opportunities to pitch to left handed hitters. The offering. Upstairs again with a breaking ball. You know that's why you can't walk the right-handed hitter to begin the inning. Exactly, because you know that that <laughs> sets you up for, for further failure. <laughs> Three and zero. Seven balls to begin the bottom of the second, and that's a strike. <clears throat> but now you're still down on the count. Three balls and one strike. Yeah. To Colton Beetleman, no score. Bottom of the second inning. Again, a short lead at first for Rice. The pitch. That is ball four. Oh, it's inside. Runner going. Doesn't matter. Doesn't it's a matter. walk anyway. Now, Doesn't matter. <clears throat> Here is well, the right-handed hitting Brennan Taylor. And honestly, this is what was happening at the Fort Morgan when we played Severance as they were walking the bases, getting runners on, and then one good hit, and it clears the bases. So Taylor now bats. Put two down and Two on and nobody out, I should say. And the pitch, swing and a miss. That yeah. is his, that, I don't know why you make that decision as a hitter. He wanted the hit though. He yeah, but that doesn't make any sense. He just <laughs> threw eight balls out yeah. of nine pitches and then you swing at the first pitch. And it's and coming it, in low. And it wasn't a strike. That's a strike, grounded to third. Davila steps in the back for one. He throws nope. to first, you gotta dig it out, and it doesn't. Yep. It hops over the glove of Michael Strange. That's gonna score a run, rounding third is Beetleman. He's going to score to second as the hitter, Taylor. It'll be a five unassisted fielder's choice. The air on Davila, 37th there by the Mustangs this season. And Severance leads one nothing. And John, you pinpointed that in the first inning. The throws from third got to be better than that. Right. And clearly, I mean, in looking at that, when he fielded that ball, it, it was going to be hard for him to touch third and get the ball over there because the, the kid was fast. And that's when you just have to have that baseball IQ to hang on to it and not give up those runs. Yep. one nothing Severance. Here is the pitcher of Wuniak. And the offering. Breaking ball, a strike on the outer half. Belt high, it's 0-1. Awuniak, a 3-0-3 hitter. Here's a stretch. And the offering. Bounces away, but a nice play there by Jason Diaz. Yeah, he even managed to get a glove on it enough to knock it down and keep it in front of him. And save the, the runner was ready to advance to third on that. One ball and one strike. One out, one on, one in the pitch. Fastball is upstairs. Two and one. And the offering. Swung on and grounded a short. Charlie's got to make the play at first. And he fires to first, two down. Runner to third and Brennan Taylor. Now batting Dominic Torres. And here is Dom Torres out of the eight hole. Yeah, it looked like Charlie actually had to clear the umpire. The umpire was running in front of him and he had to clear him to make that throw. Let's see, you take your time and that's what he did there. Yep, he really, he took good time through the ball. Nice stop there by Diaz. One ball and no strikes. Torres is hitting 200. Out of the stretch with Brennan Taylor at third. That's in the dirt again. JJ's got to help his catcher out. Yeah. He might have crossed him up. I'm not sure, but it's 2-0 and oh as Diaz pays a visit to the mound. Yeah, I think he's just trying to get him settled down. Just telling him, hey, you know, just throw the ball. They believe in keeping things simple at Bank of Colorado. Apply for the loan you need for your dream home fully online. Visit bankofcolorado.com. Two balls and no strikes, but this inning did start with two walks. The pitch. That's a strike with a fastball. The run is unearned because it scored on an error, despite the walks that J.J. generated in this bottom half of the second inning. 
two and one to Torres. And the offering. Swing and a miss and a pitch down in the zone. Almost had a sinker action to it. It's two and two. Well, he's he's looking to get a bat on it. This is that runner out there 90 feet away. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And Diaz applies the tag. Another pitch that was well below the knees. And Torres goes down swinging. In the inning, one run, no hits, one costly error, and a man left at third. Let's head to the third. It's Severance 1, Fort Morgan nothing on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. We begin the third. Chase Prouty takes a strike, the 0-1, and that's inside. One ball and one strike. Severance leads Fort Morgan 1-0, an unearned run in the bottom half of the second inning. Awoniak to the plate. Swing and a miss. A little bit out in front of that one. It's one ball and two strikes. Chase hitting 267. The DH this afternoon. Prouty, Hilzer, and Marquez in the third. The offering. That's a called strike three. A fastball right there. And there's one down. I think he was anticipating another pitch. I think he was thinking breaky ball. I think he was. And he got him on that inside fastball that was right at the knees. This Awoniak, he is doing a great job of mixing up his pitches. Yeah. 21 pitches, 17 of those are strikes. Well, and you know that a good pitcher, if you're anticipating one pitch, he's going to throw you another. That's the thing. Yeah, I think Chase was sitting breaking ball there. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, that fastball snuck in. And he wasn't expecting it. Right. And it's like, got to always be expecting it. <laughs> yeah, it's tough, especially against it. This guy is a returner from last year on that state championship team. Yeah. Pitch to Hilzer. Breaking ball's a strike. Belt level down the middle at 0 and 1. And that was what Chase was looking for. <laughs> yes. One pitch later, he got. He got the breaking ball. Yeah, just one just pitch too late. Swung on and fouled off to the right. Well, and this this pitcher, he's got good placement, good command of the ball. Well, he did it a year ago. And he's doing it in this game. And the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss, totally fooled. That was a breaking ball. Yep. And there's two down. And that time, Hilzer was looking for a fastball. So a good and, mixture of the pitches in there. And so far, John, that's the second 0-2 count that this pitcher's had. And both times, he threw breaking balls. He struck out Diaz on a pitch in the dirt. Yeah. And he got Hilzer right there. Here's Marquez out of the nine hole. The offering. Swung on and popped foul and out of play. It's 0-1. Well, and even in this win, to have that kind of command on the ball, is so you, you got to have good good control. Marquez hitting 219. Here's the wine and the offering. Swing and a miss, man. Fort Morgan's got to do a better job reading these, especially the breaking ball. Yeah. That we're, was an uh, awful looking swing. Well, and these change ups, and we're getting out way ahead of the ball on a lot of this stuff. Yeah, see, his hands are not far back enough. See, look at him now. Swing and a miss. Yep. You got to keep those hands further back and read it. If you got him out in front, that's going to be tough on these hitters. And John, he struck out the side in order. Right. So, Awuniak's actually getting a little bit stronger here. As we head to the bottom of the third, the Mustangs are still in this game, obviously. It's only Severance leading Fort Morgan one to nothing on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. And I should have pointed this out, and thank goodness I have John with me here, because he saw that Riley Elric went to left field and Jaden Carrera from left to center, so there must be an issue with Angel Lopez there, John, because he's not in the game. Yeah, and he was... Uh, he the first part of the lineup, he was the number three hitter, so something must have happened between then and now. Yeah, and he hit that grounder to second. Yeah. Or was it the second? He had a grounder to end the inning. It was on the left side, actually. Mm -hmm. Here's the pitch, and the oh. breaking ball bounces away. See, here's the difference between a Wooniak's breaking ball and JJ's. JJ sometimes snaps it off a little bit too early. Yeah, almost like he's trying to aim the ball. Yeah, you just got to let it fly. And the offering. Fastball is upstairs to Tyson Smith. It's 2-0. and oh. This is the nine hitter. This is what happened to begin the second. You fall behind. Exactly. And as a result, Severin scored a run, and that one is up and in. A 241 hitter. We know this has nothing to do with a win because it's not affecting the other pitcher. Right. It's just it's just command of the ball. 
And the 3-0 pitch, that's right there for a strike, 3-1. and one. JJ's thrown 35 pitches so far, but only 17 strikes. Did allow an unearned run. And the offering, strike two, outside corner with a fastball. Three balls and two strikes. Yeah, get this first guy, get back into a rhythm. Mm-hmm. Smith awaits the pitch, and here it is. Swing and a oh, miss. What a job hit. there. That's that a, was a big one. That's a great job by J.J. Marquez coming back from a 3-0. Took well, something off that pitch, and there's one down. And I think he tipped it into the glove, but that was a good pitch. Second consecutive strikeout by Marquez. Those are the only two strikeouts he has in the game. The opposing pitcher has struck out four. The offering, that's a little bit high. Mm. What? That was a good spot to miss, though. Braden Kirksiek grounded to the third baseman, Davila, in the bottom of the first. The pitch, and he bounces it to the backstop, 2-0. and One out, bottom three, one nothing severance. And the offering. That's a strike, fastball, outer half. It's two and one to the number one hitter in this lineup for Severance. Close dance. The pitch inside. Backed him off the plate a bit, three and one. Just a hair inside, too. Not well, by much. Diaz lays down the sign, three and one. And the offering. That's a strike on the outer half. It's three and two. Yeah, Batter didn't like that one. He's shaking his head. He must have thought it was further off the plate. Well, Diaz is set up. Looks like he's set up a little bit inside. So when he reaches out, it's still uh -huh. in the zone. 3-2. That's outside. That's up and away. That was clearly a ball. Right. Third walk issued by Marquez. But he's working the outside corner there pretty well. Here's Agustin Dominguez. First pitch strike percentage, John, only at 40%. You've got to be better than that. Swung on and driven foul down the right side and out of yeah, play. Out of play. Man. And can we tell that wind is blowing from left to right big time? <laughs> yeah, because that looked like it was a baseline hit, and that wind just blew it clear out of the out of the field. No balls in one strike. Yeah, if J.J. can get those first pitch strikes, he'll feel a lot more comfortable out there. Actually, he's pitched pretty well other than the three walks. Right. Short lead at first, and back and diving on the throw is Kirsik. Severance leads one to nothing, bottom three. One on, one out. The stretch, Dominguez awaits the pitch outside. Runner goes to second to throw and a hop to tag, and he came off the base for what happened there. They're going to call him. Well, what happened? The umpire looked away. Yeah, he when did he came look off away. the bag, he had the glove on him, and the umpire looked away. And he didn't see that they that he'd come off the back, that he'd lifted his hands up, and he looked like he lifted both hands up to call time, but the gloves on him. Uh, I don't know if they're, but then I don't know if Marquez said something because I saw the umpire turn around and say something to uh, the pitcher on that one. Well, it's a stolen base, one ball, one strike, runner in scoring position, awaiting the pitches. Dominguez, here it comes, and he takes it in the dirt. Two balls and one strike. Declan Moylet, a very dangerous hitter, is on deck. Got to come in with one now. Here it is. Outside. Yeah, Diaz had to reach out for that one. Three and one. Hitters count for Severance. And the offering, that's outside. I, I got ball four. Yeah. Um, well, oh, I called it a balk. Okay, that's what it was. Thank you, Brian. It was a balk. 3-1 pitch. Now that's ball four. The pitch was upstairs. Okay, I didn't even see that it was called a balk earlier. Now batting Declan Moylet. That makes sense. Declan Moylet is now the hitter. He hit that grounder to second. Well, that explains why nothing really mattered at second base on right. the non-steal. 
but I'm not even sure where he balked unless he didn't I don't know. come to a complete stop. The offering, that is a ball down and in. That looked like a pretty good pitch. Uh, it looked like he cut the front knee. Yeah. But, yeah, I didn't see the balk either on that one, so I don't really know. The stretch, 1-0. Swung on line, base hit into oh, right yeah. field. Hilzer comes up with that baseball to third base as Kiersick. He'll stay right there. And the bases are loaded. First hit of the game by either side. Well, it's strange knocked that down, and, and rightfully so, because um, I'm not sure. Who knows where it would have gone if it started bouncing to the infield. Well, he's supposed to be the cutoff, which he was. Right. And you have to hit your cutoff. Though. That is correct. Dom Rice walked in the previous inning. one nothing severance, but now they got the bases loaded, one out in the bottom of the third inning. Runners take their leads. Kiersig, Dominguez, and Moylet. And that pitch is in the dirt. One ball and no strikes. Good block by Diaz on that he's one. He's had a lot of blocks. Yeah, he really has. He's he's working hard behind the plate today. And Marquez comes in with the 1-0. That's a strike on the outer half, just above belt level. It's 1-1. One and one. Yeah, that was a pretty pitch. He laid that right in there. Out of the windup, full of Severn Silver Knights. The offering, and that's in the dirt with a look like a changeup or a breaking ball, 2-1. And I'm not sure you want to call that pitch anyway. It's not working for him. No. I would stay away from it. The two one offering. Yep. And look at that. Look at that block. Three and one. That took a really nasty hop. And it really did. And those are so hard to, you know, I mean, so hard to stay on top of those blocks. And Diaz blocked it with the top of his chest protector. Three and one. Nowhere to put him. Rice awaits the pitch. Here it is. That's inside with a changeup. That will score Kiersick on the walk. Two nothing. Severance. Well, and like we talked about, this is where the Mustangs start getting themselves in trouble. And they need to get on top of their game and really start playing some good, clean baseball here. Pitching and defense, and they right now they don't have much of that in this one. JJ just really scuffling the offering. That's a strike, nice fastball, outer half thigh high. Beetleman walked his first time up. The bases remain loaded. The offering outside, just off the plate, it's one and one. 32 balls and 25 strikes for Marquez. One ball, one strike. The pitch inside, back the hitter off the plate, two and one. I'm telling you, the star of this game so far for Fort Morgan is Jason Diaz. He has, yeah, you he's, mean, he's had to really work. Two one pitch, a strike on the outside corner. Well, and like any good catcher, he'll have a few bruises after this game with his arms. John Prouty knows about that, <laughs> two and two. A couple of times. With one out, the pitch upstairs. That arm slot and everything was wrong with that pitch. I think he tried to throw a changeup. That didn't look like a fastball delivery. Yeah, I don't know, but he was dropping his elbow on it. And it just time. didn't look good at all. Three and two. The offering. Foul there. tipped into the glove. A swing and a miss. And a strikeout of Colton Beetleman. That's huge. Because now we're bases loaded, but we're sitting two outs. Third strikeout for Marquez. Brennan Taylor hit that grounder to Davila that scored the game's first run when he stepped on third for the force, but then threw it by Michael Strange. And that could have been the final hitter for Marquez if he doesn't get him. Yeah. He, that keeps him in the game. It does. Here's the wine and the offering. And he bounces oh. it in up the first base side. Again, nice stop there. Well, and the, the downside is, is the law of averages are against you if you keep doing that. One of them's going to get by. I mean, as a catcher, you know, he's blocking. If you're blocking 80% of them, you're on a good day. Yeah, but he's, right now he's like at 100% with runners on base. Yeah. 
And the 1-0. Yeah, his arm slot is just way inconsistent. Very high, 2-0. Well, and it's, again, it's like he's trying to aim the ball rather than just throw. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He cannot duplicate it from one pitch to the next. 2-0 pitch, and he bounces that one in there. I think this has got to be his last hitter. I mean, J.J. Well, is, is not he's not comfortable out there. No, and you can tell he, it's forced. It really is forced for him. And if it... Three balls and no strikes. And the offering, that's a strike. But you're still down on the count at three and one. Yeah, I mean you're you're fighting now. I mean I feel for him. It's the loneliest position in sports. Nobody can bail you out except you. <laughs> exactly. Three balls and one strike. The pitch, swung on, driven oh. deep down the left field line. That's going to be gonna trouble for off. Elric inside the line. That's going to score two. It's going to clear the bases maybe, but no. Going to third is the trail runner. That'll be a two-run double for Taylor. And Severance leads four to nothing in the bottom of the third inning. Yeah, and Elric didn't get play the wind on that because it it faded off to the uh, left field line. It just bounced just in by about three feet. And just got to learn to play that wind. Second hit of the inning, second hit of the game for Severance. Oniak at 0 for 1. The Benders outside, one ball and no strikes. Well, he had to come in with a 3-1, and he belted it down the left field line. Yeah, and he that was a nice, well-placed hit, too. Grounder to third. Davila's got it. He hesitates, throws to first for the out. Got him by about a half a step. But well, it, it, that's yeah. the right play, too, because if he would have tried to tag the runner going by, that's not a force. And if that run would have sc scored or crossed home plate, that would have counted. The, yes. So you go for the force, and that ends the bottom of the third inning. But again, a struggle for the Mustangs and J.J. Marquez in the frame. Three runs on two hits, no errors, and two left. Let's head to the fourth inning. Four nothing Severance on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. The Mustangs are looking for their first hit against the Severance right-hander, Ryan Uniak. I know I'm not pronouncing it perfectly. I'm trying to do it phonetically. Four nothing Severance. The pitch swung on and foul by Shaden Carrera to the backstop. Well, it's been a rough day because we're just now top of four and we're just now getting back to the top of the, the lineup. Nine up, nine down. Carrera popped up his first time up. The breaking ball is upstairs. Only the fifth ball thrown by this pitcher amongst 29 pitches. Marquez is approaching 70. One ball, one strike. The pitch swung on and tapped foul at the plate off the hitter. One and two since 2003, Western Engineering Consultants has been providing big firm product with small firm relationships. Visit westerneci.com for more. Here we go with a one two to the center fielder, Jaden Carrera. Here it is. Swung on, hit slowly on the ground towards the second baseman, and now picked up by the pitcher. It's going to be a base hit. Yep. Well, nothing. There was nothing the second baseman Rice could do there because it kind of died in the grass. And well, that'll be and a that straight up hit. Kind of what he did last time, except he poked it a little bit and it got that pop fly. This time it died in the grass. So, I, you know, like we've talked about many times, it's just about on base percentage. It's not about how you hit the ball. Hit very slowly. And in fact, I mean, there's nothing Rice could do at second. And Uwoni, I couldn't pick up that baseball cleanly. That ends the no-hitter. Here's Charlie Langford, grounder to short in the first. The offering, swung on line towards right field and a dive and the ball gets by yeah, the right going fielder, the Taylor, fence. all the way to the fence. Carrera's gonna round third. Carrera's gonna be sent home. Nope, he's gonna stay nope. right there. The ball got back in. Yeah, so Second that right third. fielder's got a cannon. He fired that back in. That's a straight up double for Charlie Langford. Yeah, Taylor went to the ground, and that ball was hit so sharply with some spin. 
Yeah, the it hit that by. turf and jumped out, just jumped out to the left of him there. And here is Riley Elric, a freshman. A tough spot for Elric. Well, now the Mustangs with a chance to get back into the game. The pitch, that is a little bit up and away. One ball and no strikes. Second and third, nobody out, four nothing Severance in the fourth, the offering. Swung on and popped foul, not a play off to the right. One ball and one strike to the left fielder. Yeah, this part of the lineup needs better at bats than the first time. Yes. Elric with his first plate appearance, but Diaz is on deck. The offering, breaking ball, that is a little bit low, I <laughs> guess. Man, that looked pretty good from here, but call the ball. And even a Wooniak, the pitcher, is kind of chuckling. Yeah, I think he thought it was a strike, too, and it, it looked pretty good. So did you and I. Yeah. Two and one. Well, that's a hitter's count now. The pitch swung on, grounded left side. They should score. Wow, Carrera goes back. Throw to first is dug out, and there's one out. I'm not sure that's the right play by Carrera. Third is Kiersick made the play. I mean, he wasn't even looking to, th to throw to the plate. No, he, w he really wasn't. I, I can't know. believe he wasn't off on contact. Yeah. And so I... Again, it just is really turning up that baseball IQ. But, well, that's what Coach Langford had him hold, I guess. And the offering. Swung on and chopped down the third base side foul. Well, now you will be going on the ground with one out. You don't want to, with two outs, you need a base hit. Right. No balls and one strike. I mean, they were playing halfway, but with the way the ball was hit, it was hit to the right of the shortstop, Kiersick. And Carrera has enough speed. I think he would have scored on that one. Diaz awaits the pitch. He struck out on three pitches his first time up. The offering. Swung on. Hit off the end of the bat on the first base side. This will score the run if it's fair, but it's not. It trickles foul. Yeah, I fisted that one. That was hard. Huh? Well, uh, it was a changeup or a breaking mm -hmm. ball or something. And it was off speed. And it hit it off the end of the bat. And that's the problem is that. You've got to read this pitch, and you know he remembers the last time he threw him an 0-2 breaking ball in the dirt. Watch this pitch. Right. More than likely to be in the dirt. The offering. Swung on oh. line. That's a mistake, but it's oh. foul. It went just foul, too. Well, he threw him a breaking ball, but it was a mistake. Yeah. It he hung. Was, he was looking for the breaking ball, and it wasn't breaking down like it, like it should have been. Well, but... But Wooniak's got to trust his catcher. Maybe he's not throwing that breaking ball in the dirt because he don't, doesn't want to risk a wild pitch, but you're up true. four to nothing. Yeah, true, but you got to take those risks. I agree, yeah. And the 0-2. See, that one's low and almost dug out there nicely by... And Diaz saw that one coming. He did. He just laid off. Yep. Well, he's a smart hitter. He's a senior. He is. One ball, two strikes, two on. One out, the pitch. Swung on and chopped slowly. Fair. And the throw to first off balance is going to be offline. Oh, he Diaz is off. safe. Yeah, he pulled off on that one. So It's going to be an RBI, them. but an error on Moylet's on a bad throw. It's 4-1. to one. I'm not sure why Moylet threw off balance. Diaz does not have a ton of foot speed. If he sets up, I think he gets him with a, a good throw. That's I why it scored an error. But it's yeah. an RBI either way, and the Mustangs trail by three. Well, and smart on the first baseman coming off to get the ball. He misses that, and you, the Mustangs score two. And John, with the way that ball was hit, it might have trickled foul if he let it go, but Moylet decided to feel that baseball. Right. Didn't want to take a chance. Here's Davila, grounded out his first time up. So now Severance is getting a little bit sloppy. The pitch. Swung on and lined on one hop. Could be two. And it's bobbled oh. by the shortstop, Kiersick. Throw to first, and that's going to be late. And yep. that's a second consecutive error committed by Severance. Lankford scores. It's 4-2. to two. Well, well, John, now it's happening it's it, with the opposing team. <laughs> and it, I'm okay with that. 
Well, I mean, that should have been an inning-ending double play. It should have been, yeah. It should have been a flip and a throw to, to first and two outs. But he bobbled it, and uh, and that's what happens when you are when you are going to field the ball and you look up to see where that runner is. That's right. Because that's exactly what he did. He kind of took that sneak peek to see where that runner was at, see where Diaz was at, and he lost sight of the ball, and then he bobbled it. So that's E6, second consecutive error on an infielder for Severance. It's four to two, and that's fouled by Isaiah Ortiz. Ortiz popped to center his first time up. Both teams have two hits. That's how this inning began. The infield single by Carrera, the double by Charlie. And the offering. That one bounces in. Nice block by Dominguez. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Dominguez is having to do some work back there, too. Well, and this is an adjustment for the pitcher when you got to start pitching out of the stretch. Yes. When in the first three innings, it was all wind-up. Yeah, it didn't have to go out of the stretch. One ball, one strike, the offering. Swung on line, base oh. hit into right field. Diaz Good is going to be held up at third, and the bases will be loaded. And the Mustangs with three hits in the inning for Chase Prouty. John, I love that piece of hitting going the other way. Yeah, and, and if you can just place those good line drives like that and pick a spot where there's a gap, those are just solid hits. That's what Ortiz did. It's just a good gap hit between first and second right out in the right field. Now this is a critical part of the lineup because these next three hitters all struck out their first time. So they've got to make the adjustment just like Jason Diaz did. Right. When he put the ball in play. Base is loaded, only one out. He'll pitch out of the windup. Four to two, Severance. The pitch, that is a strike. Fastball, a little bit above belt level at 0 and 1. And just like that, the wind is kicking up again. Mm -hmm. And the offering swung on, hit off the end of the bat towards short. And there's the flip to second for one, and back to first, and that is going to be in time, just in time. That was a bang, bang play at first, a 6-4-3 double play. Oh, so close. And it's too bad you don't have instant replay on that one, because I it think was, that that was... It was bang, bang. It was, yeah. I mean... It looked like foot it, it was, was falling on the bag as the ball got there. Very close. And the inning for the Mustangs, two runs on three hits. There were two errors and two left. Three and a half complete. Severance leads Fort Morgan four to two on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Miguel Davila is the new pitcher for the Mustangs. JJ Marquez, a starter, goes to center. And Jaden Carrera playing his third position in this game. Moves over to third. Severance leads four to two. And just need Miguel to keep the Mustangs in the game, along with that defense. Because Severance helped out Fort Morgan with a couple of critical errors in the top of the fourth inning. Here we go for Severance. It'll be Dom Torres, followed by Tyson Smith and Brayden Kirsik. 8, 9, and 1. Torres struck out against Marquez. JJ walked 5 and struck out 3 through 68 pitches. That one is in the dirt. One ball and no strikes to Dom Torres. Miguel, middle of the rubber. Delivers. A strike, bottom of the zone. One ball and one strike. Four runs on two hits for Severance, two runs on three hits for the Mustangs. The pitch, breaking ball, swing and a miss. Torres badly fooled on that one. One ball and two strikes. Miguel ready. Chest level with the glove, turns and fires. 
up and in. Two and two. This is the most bipolar wind we've ever seen. Yeah, it's it's on again, off again. The pitch, uh, arm slot way off, up and in. The same thing happened to Miguel here in this sequence that JJ suffered with. The arm slot mm -hmm. has changed on more than one occasion. Three and two. The pitch, that is a called strike oh. three on the outer half, one down. Well, and as you've told me many times about pitching, it's about consistency too. It's like bowling. You just got to repeat that motion, even yep. though when you start dropping that elbow yeah. or turning that opening up and turning that shoulder out. Uh, Does it work? Nope. You can't. You can't position it that way. Tyson Smith struck out his first time. The pitch swung on and lifted towards shallow right center field. Moving to his right as Hilzer coming in, he dives. Oh. It's going to drop for a base hit. The ball gets away. Hilzer will pick it up. It's a double, one out double. And I got to tell you, John, I'm not sure he read that well at all. He didn't, and then maybe the wind faded it enough, but he dove for it, but it bounced two feet in front of him. Um, he dove, he went way too early on that. Yeah. But you could sense the wind was picking the ball up, and you just yeah. got you you to read that off charging the bat. It. You just got to keep going. And if you got to play it on the hop, you play it on the hop. It is a straight up double. Here's Kierksick, who's 0 for 1. Breaking ball is down and in. The stretch and the offering. Swung on. That is pop foul and out of play. Well, and you and Brian Nickel on Monday, you alluded to on multiple occasions where the wind was playing differently than today. They are playing the in, the outfielders in and yeah. balls were, they weren't getting the pitches swung on. That was popped up towards the shortstop Langford in the shallow right center field. Yeah. He makes the catch. Look at that one, how that drifted, man. Charlie's an athlete. Right, he really is. He ranged well on that. Um, and they just need to be careful that somebody's got to call that ball so you don't have any collisions going on out there. Well, I think Charlie knew with, that, with those pop-ups they're just drifting, drifting back in. in. The yeah. infielder is going to have to make the play. Yeah, you get that high pop up like that, and it's drifting back to the infield. Augustine Dominguez is grounded out and walked. He's 0 for 1. 4 to 2 Severance, bottom four. The pitch, breaking ball, didn't really break. It stayed upstairs, 1 and 0. Well, we got the bipolar wind going now because it's really dying is. down again. I mean, maybe that's not the term I should be using, but I think, no. you know. Uh, in this day of political correctness, right, right. I don't know what the term should be. Swung on, grounded uh, fair inside the third baseline. Yep. Rounding That's third is Tyson one. Smith. And it's going to be an RBI double for Augustine Dominguez. It's 5-2 to two severance in the bottom of the fourth inning. That was just a well-placed ball right over the third base going right down the line. Two doubles in the inning. There's not much you can do with that. And here is Declan Moylet. Dominguez will have a courtesy runner. Dylan Heiss. As opposed to one of John and mine's favorite, High C. Yes. You know, some High C growing up, that High C punch. Made that all the time. The pitch. <laughs> Swung on, grounded a short. Charlie to his left has got it, and he slings it the first for the out. And that will end the bottom of the fourth inning. But like always, one out too late for that run to come in. Yes, because Severance does pick up a run on two hits. No errors. And one left. We head to the top of the fifth inning. It's Severance 5, Fort Morgan 2. This is B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. John Beltran along with my buddy and brother John Prouty, top of the fifth inning. And the Mustangs trail Severance five to two. But Fort Morgan showed some life offensively, John, in the fourth inning. Yeah, and if we can repeat that and get some guys on again and start getting them around, uh, exactly what Mustangs need. Brayden Hilser did the same thing in the first pitch of this at bat that he did in the previous one. He swung at a breaking ball and missed it way out in front. He's got to read it out of the hand. And the 0-1, swung on, grounded a short, good contact there, but Biersik has it, fires to first for the out. 
And Kiersig makes the play, one out. And here is J.J. Marquez. It's a, the seven and eight hitters have done the same thing. They struck out and then they hit it to short, which is, it's an improvement for the first at bat. Right. And hopefully. But it's one of those that they, they're, you know, uh, Hilser hit the edge of the grass and it just died. Right. And it was an easy roller for the shortstop to pick up. And J.J. takes a breaking ball for a strike. It's amazing how this pitcher so much more comfortable out of the windup. Mm -hmm. 41 strikes and nine balls for Abuniak. The pitch, swing and a miss on the breaking ball. Well, John, I wouldn't throw him anything but a breaking ball here. Yeah, because he's chasing. He's yeah. chasing. It's 0-2. And, and the offering, swing and a foul tip at the plate. And J.J. has got to read that. I mean, why even throw him anything other than a breaking ball? He's going to swing well, regardless. And he's just seen him throw two breaking balls. Three? I mean, the first was a strike. Then he swung over it. And then... Yeah, and then he fortunately tipped that one. Right, but barely. Let's see if he goes with another curveball. 0-2. Outside, he wasted a fastball, but that's... John, as you all know, as you've told me many times, that's a setup for the that next is. pitch. That is. That's a setup. <laughs> one ball and two strikes. Let's see if this is the breaking ball, the one-two. And it is, and he fouled it again. I th oh, he didn't get a piece of no, it. It's in I the don't. dirt. They throw him out. Yep. And Marquez strikes out for the second time. And it's going to be two down here for Jaden Carrera. Well, and I think they made a movie about that, something like uh, Trouble with the Curve. <laughs> A 2012 hit, and we remember the scout was an 82-year-old actor Clint, named Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. That's a great movie. Yep. Rachel Adams is his daughter. Yep. Uh, it's uh, Amy Adams. Amy Adams. Amy Adams. Amy yeah. Adams. Yeah. Yeah. There's a Rachel McAdams and an Amy Adams. That's, yeah, I that's get That's a great confused. movie. The pitch. That's a strike. Yeah. And, um, Justin Timberlake was in that movie. Uh huh. No balls and one strike. Yeah, good movie too. Oh yeah, we'll have to see that. I haven't seen it in so long. Carrera is one for two. The pitch swung on grounded slowly towards second. This could die a little bit. Charging is Rice, and he cannot make the play. It's and that's another infield exactly single. What he did last time. Yep. It's almost the same spot too. Yeah, it's not even a full swing. No. But he places it perfectly. It's almost like a check swing and just placing it out there. And Carrera you, beat it out with that Brian Nickel speed, just getting down that line. Uh, what would you call that? A quasi bunt? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, quasi, yeah, because that's not quite the swing. A swing bunt, the ball doesn't go bunt. that far. Right. So I think quasi is even better. Here's Charlie Langford. <laughs> Grounded a short and doubled. Severance leads five to two, two down top of the fifth. The offering swung oh. on line towards right center field. That's going to drop for a base hit. Stepping on second is Carrera, head to third. The throw's going to be made. The slide is going to be in there. Langford to second. That's a single, yep. and he goes to second on the throw, and the Mustangs have two in scoring position for Riley Elric. John, this is where, I mean, there's. it's going to be tough here on a freshman. This yep. is where not having an experienced hitter is going to be a disadvantage, so Riley's going to have to come through in a very tough situation for him. Yes, this is uh, this is pressure cooker right here so it's uh it's uh welcome to the varsity level that's right by fire the pitch strike right there yeah and like we just talked about the pitcher now gets to go from the wind up again which he's been much better from the wind up this is morgan county's b106 kprb brush fort morgan the offering that is a fastball at the bottom of the zone it's 0 and two and watch out john you know what pitch is coming I do. It's the high fastball. Well, it's either or that or the. I think, or the gonna, I think he's going to throw him a breaking ball. ball. Yeah, a curveball. Yeah, I think he's going breaking ball. 0 2 pitch. No, oh, you're right. Oh. It was a fastball, but it was a low, low fastball. fastball. Yeah, I think I think he's reluctant to throw the breaking ball with a man at third. I, You know, I think he is because, because he's afraid it's going to get away from his catcher. Yep. Let's see. Now, let's see. With a 1 2. That's low. Another yep. fastball. Yeah, I don't know why he doesn't trust his stuff. That breaking ball's been very good for him today. And yeah, and uh, some of our inexperienced hitters have been chasing that ball right and left. And the two-two pitch, that's nope. down and away with a changeup. It's three and two. Well, I'm surprised that with that pitch selection, did not go with an O-two curve or a one-two curve, John. He's right. thrown fastballs and changeups since then. Three and two to Riley Elric. 
And the offering. Swung on and grounded up, up the, middle. the middle. Shortstop Kiersick to his left. Throw to first is low, but it's in time. Yep. An excellent defensive play by Braden Kiersick. That's a nice job of Riley Elric putting the ball in play. Unfortunately for the Mustangs, they are kept off the board in this top of the fifth inning. No runs on two hits. No errors and two left. Four and a half complete. I think Josh, I think he's pleased with that at bat by Elric because he came back from that. Uh, made him waste some pitches. Made him waste some pitches. But yeah. the Mustangs trail 5-2 to two on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's head to the bottom of the fifth inning. It's 5-2 to two severance. Miguel Davila in his second inning of work will face Dom Rice, Colton Beetleman, and Brennan Taylor. Two walks issued to this hitter, the pitch. And that one got behind him. One ball and no strikes. The sun has been out the entire game, but it's actually gotten colder. Yep, it's that cold front coming in and that wind. That's a strike with yep. a fastball at the knees. It's one and one. Yeah, we'll try to muscle our way through the next two innings. Hay barns there were a little more than this way. It'd be perfect. Yep. Oh, got him swinging over the top on that one. On a pitch that was down and away, it's one and two. Yeah, I think he was really looking to hit. To Dom Rice. And the offering upstairs, two balls and two strikes, a little bit above the letters. Good pitch, though, by Davila. It was, and I was going to say, I'd give him a, a high fastball. He went for a high curveball. Miguel ready. And the offering swung on and lined towards right oh, field to his head. left is Hilzer, and it's going to be way out of his reach. This could turn into two bags easily, and on second base is Rice. He'll stay right there. Another double. They've got a number of doubles in this game. Yeah, they sure do. And they're hitting the ball and placing it well. And here's Beetleman, who walked and struck out swinging. Well, I figure about the uh, bottom of the seventh, this wind will die down. Yeah, but the Mustangs won't be playing the bottom of the seventh unless they rally with some runs, John, which they, they did against Mountain View. They did. But that five run seven, so don't count them out yet. No, and the one thing that's great about this club is they will fight to the end. Without a doubt, the pitch swung on and grounded up oh. the middle to his right and underneath the glove of Ortiz into center field. Staying on third is Rice, and the throw goes all the way through, which oh. cannot happen, and Diaz tripped over that, the bat. Yeah, and that was... Well, you, but you can't, you can't throw that throw through. can't throw that ball in. Got, there's a reason that you're supposed to hit your cutoff man and that is exactly it. You could have gotten your catcher seriously hurt. Yeah, that's not a good decision there by JJ. Not at all. And clearly the the runner at third was already held up. And the runner and, at first was not going anywhere. Right, and you just gave him a free bag. I don't I don't understand the throw on that one. There was no reason for it. Here is Brennan Taylor. It's not an error, but it's a that's it's more of a uh, a mental error. It's not a scoring error. Right. You can't throw all the way through there. Brennan Taylor had that big double, John, and he takes a strike. They got to pitch him very carefully. The infield is in. You're down five to two. Nobody out. Two in scoring position at the bottom of the fifth inning. Got to be careful with this guy. The pitch and check swing. Did he go? And the answer is no. Yeah. On a pitch below the knees, it's one and one. Yeah. Yeah, I think he just held up, but it was close. Just. But it, you're right. It was close and. Really, it's not about breaking that plane as much as it is, are you committed to the ball? And another check swing, but it's called a strike anyway in the inside corner. That's a great pitch. One ball and two strikes. I think he called it a strike anyway. Caught the corner. Close stands for the right side. Again, the infield in, the offering. Swung on in line down the right field line. Hills are to his left, and he reaches nope. out. He cannot make the play. It's a base hit. One run is in, and now to second. With another double is Brennan Taylor. The third is Beetleman. Severance leads six to two. And that's three hits to begin the inning. As John said, they're just placing the ball very well. Yeah, and they're they're picking on right field out there, uh, trying to get him to range back and forth. And so Hilzer's having a tough time out there in right field. Because they're hitting the gap and then they're hitting the line. Yeah, it's 
So kind well, of pinball. And the wind doesn't help. It no. just doesn't help. The ball's blowing away from you. The pitcher here, Wooniak, is grounded out twice. He's 0 for 2. Infield remains in. Swung on line. Base hit into right field. Scoring is Beetleman. Taylor to third. He'll be held up. And it's 7 to 2 severance. That's four hits to begin the inning. And they are going the other way yeah. with a great deal of success. John, that's the first single of the inning, preceded by actually the second single because there was the other one where it. And it's just a good gap hit right between first and second base, right into roller, right into right field again. And it looks like Ortiz, he tried to range that, but he just couldn't get there. Yeah. Well, Dom Torres will now hit. He struck out twice. Well, listen, at least they're earning these runs. Yeah. They're hitting the ball. I mean, you don't want to be committing errors. and th I mean, they're earning these runs. They're hitting the ball hard. Yeah, they really are. I mean, they're they're good place hitters. Two runs across in the inning. Severance's biggest inning was the third when they scored three times. Pitch, swing, and a miss. Well, it looked like that was a little bit of a slider, and he swung right over the top of it. No balls and one strike. Taylor at third, Awuniak at first. Severance leads by five. Nobody out still in the bottom of the fifth inning. Runner goes, pitches high. Diaz will not make the throw. Sliding in head first is Awuniak. Well, and then he threw the ball back and threw it over the pitcher's head. So yeah. Can't, uh, can't be getting lazy no, out there like yeah, that. No, no. I mean, why even do that? Right. There was, Just I, eat it. Eat it. Well, no. Diaz was throwing it back to the pitcher and threw it over his head. Right, right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 1-1. One, one. That's a breaking ball yeah. of beauty on the inside corner. Kind of froze the batter there for a minute. He thought it was going to hit him, and then it broke right in. One ball and two strikes. Well, he has struck out twice. The pitch. Swing and a Got miss him. and a breaking ball down and in. He struck out three times. Dom Torres goes down. One out for Tyson Smith. Tyson Smith. <laughs> Got to keep the infield in. Yes. He has struck out and doubled. The big hit was the double by Taylor. That gave them a 4 nothing lead in the third. Davila out of the windup. The offering fastball is up and away. One ball and no strikes for over 100 years. Premier Farm Credit has been providing affordable, reliable, and consistent credit. PremierACA.com, the pitch inside with a fastball, 2-0. and oh. Well, there's a base open. And you'd have a force in any base if he gets on via walk. Yes. So well, it, and I think Diaz asked the home plate umpire to clean off the plate a little bit. Yep. 2-0. and oh. Miguel gets the sign. The pitch, squaring to Bonte, pops it up, and oh, can't get there. It's up the first base side and foul. I thought for a second that Jason might have tried to dive for that's the only way he's going to make the catch. Yeah, you just uh, have all to lay out. out on that yeah. one. And it's two and one. Because as a but catcher, you're chasing from the beginning. Yeah, and diving is an art, by the way. It I've is. Seen, I've seen guys get hurt diving when they don't dive correctly, so I think yes. you want to play it conservatively. Two and one. The pitch, very high. Well, that's lucky it didn't. Diaz made a great effort to keep that in the glove. You know, it's amazing in this game. We have not seen a single wild pitch. No. He made a great stop there. Either side, three yeah. and one. Davila to the plate. Strike two. Took something off it on the outside corner. Three balls and two strikes. Taylor at third, Awuniak at second. Seven to two severance. One out, bottom of the fifth inning. And the offering. Swung on and foul towards the third base dugout occupied by Severance. It remains at three and two. Our next game, weather permitting, Saturday morning, 11 o'clock from Greeley. The Mustangs will take on Northridge. The pitch at check swing. Did he go? Nope, on the pitch that was up and in. And it's a walk, and the bases are loaded for Kirksick who was grounded to third, walked and popped up. 0 for 2. How about a double play to get out of this? Absolutely. 
I was going to say they're setting up a double play depth. Breaking balls of beauty, a strike on the inner half. It's 0 and 1. From Miguel Davila. Gets a sign. The pitch up and away. Out to the windup is Davila. One ball, one strike. Jason Diaz lays down the sign. The pitch swung on and grounded. Foul. That should be foul. It is down the third base side. One and two. That didn't miss by much, though, but it was clearly foul. Yes. Yeah, it was to the outside of the bag. Now this is where pitch selection comes in. One ball, two strikes to Braden Kirksick. The offering curveball is fouled off the end of the bat. That was a nasty pitch thrown that, by Davila, and he barely really got was. a piece of it. Caught that outside corner dropping in. Well, and it had late life. I think when J.J. struggled, John, it had early life. And early life, it's easy to pick up the ball off the hand. But when it breaks at the last second, that makes it a lot more difficult on the hitter. One-two pitch. Low. Two and two. Here to Braden Kirksick. Davila gets a sign and the offering. Fouled on a pitch that was in on the hands. Wow, that's as late a swing as you can take without the ball almost hitting you. It is. It really is. Because that ball was coming in on the he, right handed hitter. He waited, waited, waited. He wanted to make sure it wasn't a breaking ball. Then he realized, oh, I better get that <laughs> bat around. 2 2 pitch. Oh, a little oh. bit high. Yep, I think it missed just a little bit, a little bit high. Yep, not by much, though. Three and two. No, you're right, by a couple of whiskers. Three and two. Something's got to give on this pitch to Kirksick. Here it is. Inside, it just missed. And it's a walk that'll score a run. Brennan Taylor, that's the second walk issued by a Mustang pitcher with the bases loaded. And Severance leads eight to two. Here's Agustin Dominguez, a ground out walk and a double. John, this score could be lopsided by the end, but I think the Mustangs have played better today than they did on Monday. Yeah, they definitely have because the uh, errors started eating them up. On right, and, they, and they've been in this game until this inning. They have been, and it's been just good baseball. Lined on one hop to Charlie and right oh. through him into left center field. That's going to score two runs, rounding third is Smith. And it's 10 to 2 severance, and that's going to be scored a straight up error. That that was right there yeah, on the one hopper. Couldn't tell if the runner screened it a little bit from him, but still, I mean, you just got to knock that down. Well, because you knock that down and you run over to second and you tag it. And I, I thought it was right at him, and that should have been made, but yeah. like I said, I'm not the official scorer, but nonetheless, yeah, we're it have is a discussion 10 to 2. On the mound. What did you think, John? Hit or error? Tough one? Should I ask a, Brian Nickel? Yeah, it's a Brian, tough one, but I think he should have had it. I, I scored that an error. Right. I mean, that was it's a one hopper. It was a one hopper right at him. Yeah. That it's it it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. I, I scored it an error, which would be for the Mustangs, I believe just their second error of the game. Yep. Severance that was says a, two as well. Yeah, and, and really on that error, it, you really could go either way with that. It was a hard hit. Well, ball, but it was right there. The key is it, it took it. a true hop. It took a true hop, and he should have had it. Well, the only other thing ball. was the runner was moving right in front of him right. and could have yeah. screened it for that, just that microsecond that you lose sight of the ball. Yeah, well, you're absolutely right about that. And we will find out uh, once the numbers are put up on max preps whether that was scored a, a – two base or two RBI hit by Augustine Dominguez who now is a courtesy runner or a two run error here's Declan Moylet one for three Severance has five runs across in the bottom of the fifth inning with two more runs the Mustangs would not bat in the sixth inning here's a stretch the pitch and that one is blocked beautifully. Diaz has been a wall, a wall behind the plate. One ball and no strikes.
the runner at first is the game ending run. And Dylan Heiss, breaking ball is up and away. Two and zero. Oh. Yeah, this team has come to hit in the inning. They really have. They're hitting the ball hard. Swung well, on really and are. grounded a second. Ortiz to his left. Muffs it, throws to first, and that is oh. dropped by Strange. Yeah, Runner breaks for the attention. plate. And it's now 11 to 2. Throw back to second. And out oh, at second base. That was a well placed throw, but he wasn't paying attention when that runner rounded third and ran home. Dylan Heiss is out at second. But it's the third error of the game, allowing the the hitter to reach. Well, and then not only that, but when uh, Strange drops that ball at at first, he's not realizing that the ball's still in play, and the runner at third just took off. And by the time he realized that it, it was too late. That's why there's no RBI on that one. It was scored on the air, you're right. Yeah. And then fortunately he caught the base runner from second taking off and was able to get it back with yeah. a laser right to Charlie's slid right into the glove. And Dylan Heiss applied the tag and that one bounces in. Nice block there by Diaz. One ball and no strikes, yeah. Isaiah Ortiz booted that baseball, then recovered. And if Strange hangs on to it, I think yeah. they would have had him at first. I think they would have. Pitches upstairs at 2-0. and oh. Again, that would have been another bang-bang play, but I think he would have had it. Yeah. Well, and it might score the air there on Ortiz because he booted it initially, yep. even though he recovered. The pitch swung oh. on drill deep into left center field. Way back, and that one is going to be up against the bottom of the fence as we'll end the game as rounding third and headed for the plate is Moylet and Severance wins 12 to two on the RBI double by Dom Rice. They played it seven runs in the bottom of the fifth inning. We'll take a short break and John and I will come back with a recap. The final score in five innings, Severance 12, Fort Morgan two, on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Along with John Prouty, I'm John Beltran. The Mustang Post Game Show is brought to you by Advanced Agri Solutions. Get a full plant of seed, food, and water for your field. Now is the time to begin your planning for the growing season. Call Dusty or Roxy, 970-571-2024. The Mustangs have dropped their sixth consecutive game, 12 to two in five innings to severance, but it was five to two going into the bottom of the fifth. 12 runs, nine hits, two errors, five left on base for Severance. And two runs, five hits, three errors, four left on base for Fort Morgan. The winning pitcher, Ryan Owuniak, and the loss went to J.J. Marquez. Time of the game, one hour and 26 minutes. Severance got on the board in the second inning. It was an unearned run to make it one to nothing. And then Brennan Taylor had that big two-run double in the three-run third. It was 4 nothing. Mustangs, though, got back into the game. They benefited from two errors in the top of the fourth inning. Jason Diaz reached on an error, as did Miguel Davila, scoring Jaden Carrera and Charlie Langford, respectively. It was 4-2, to two, but then the Mustang rally would stop right there. And then Severin scored the last eight runs of the game. RBI double for Agustin Dominguez in the fifth inning to make it 5-2. to two. And then again, they were just hitting the ball really well. A host of base hits in the fifth inning. And or the uh, Dominguez double came in the fourth inning, I should say. Brennan Taylor with an RBI double. That was his third uh, ribby of the game, his second double. Wooniak with a run scoring single to make it 7-2. to two. And then they just piled on. Brayden Kiersick walked with the bases loaded. Agustin Dominguez reached on an air. And then the game just ended on Dom Rice's RBI double. And with a victory, Severance is now 5-3 and three in league play, 9-4 and four over, overall. And the Mustangs fall to 5-8 and eight overall and 2-6 and six in the Longs peak. And, John, the Mustangs have to forget about this two-game series against Severance because they were outscored in the series 26-5. to five. And you've got a new opponent coming up in Northridge. These games are simply done. Well, and you just got to play one game at a time. I mean, you really do. Severance has got some hitters, and they – they showed that today. So you got to turn the page and get on to the next game. And did they ever show it today? I mean, they had, in this game, they hit 
six doubles. So it wasn't just base hits. Six of their nine hits went for extra bases. And as a result, on their home field on this windy Wednesday, they pick up a 10-run win over the Fort Morgan Mustangs. All right, we'll be with you, weather permitting, coming up on Saturday morning at 11 o'clock from Greeley when the Mustangs take on the Northridge Grizzlies for John Prouty. I'm John Beltran. The final score in five innings from Severance High School. Severance 12, Fort Morgan 2 on B106. B106.com and the Eastern Plains Sports Network.